Brian Sampson. And I'm Marianne Eggert. And this is a Mainline Solutions Short. Marianne and I were talking about IBM Z Server and how it's better than any other platform for running Linux. Can you tell us about that? And yes, I can. Um, well, it comes down to uh, some of these that are on the on this board right now, and I'm going to start with reliability. Okay. A uh, reliability, um, an important factor of the Z is that uh, the mean time to failure for a Z series is four decades. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that is reliability. There is no other server in the industry that can claim that kind of reliability. For sure. So where x86 servers are designed for fast failover mm -hmm. to something else, the Z is designed not to fail. So next we'll talk about scalability. Uh, scalability, um, we can run thousands of servers, <clears throat> actually tens of thousands of containers um, on a Z series. Um, uh, we have 85 partitions. Um, and we've got 170 cores that are potential. Um, we uh, um, have uh, two different um, uh, sizes in uh, boxes. Uh, one is a rock hopper, um, which goes from 2 to 20. Um, and second is an um, enterprise server, which is our emperor which goes from 6 to 170 cores. That's the now, big guy. Okay. Now remember that these cores are the fastest cores in the industry. They are 5.2 gigahertz um, uh, in, in speed. Each one of these partitions, I talked about 85 partitions. Uh, so uh, we have a tool, a GUI2 tool, that's Dynamic Partition Manager, um, that very simply, a non- Z uh, person, administrator, can create a partition uh, using this uh, very simple GUI oh, tool. Okay. Um, so we'll move on to security. Um, a, a common criteria um, goes from uh, really one to seven, um, uh, but uh, the Z series has an EAL five security level, which makes it one of the um, only servers that can, can t uh, actually obtain this type of security. Um, also on this um, server um, is the uh, card, such as a compression card, mm -hmm. um, uh, and a, um, a crypto cards, uh, uh, each one that is helping to um, uh, maintain security here. One of the things that IBM has come out with, yeah, everybody's heard of BitChain, and, and actually IBM's got a blockchain um, that's uh, entering into the cryptocurrency. Okay. Um, and IBM has chosen the Z uh, for uh, blockchain. Wow. Because of its high security. Okay. Um, another factor here is the I.O. Um, um, and I would say this is one of the shining factors uh, of this box is the I.O. capabilities on here. So I talk about 170 cores. Sure. Well, that's where you run your business, your business applications. But uh, in addition to that, um, we have 320 cores that actually do I.O. Wow. So while you're running your business applications, there is work being done accessing um, uh, the disks through um, different processors. It's these uh, 320 uh, power cores. So it's saving the processing power by, by having it's these. It's offloaded to, it. and this comes with it. So you pay for the 170 cores. This comes with that box. Got it. Um, we have 32 terabytes of memory for in-memory databases. Uh, we actually have four levels of caches. Um, the four levels of caches, which are uh, higher than you'll find on x86, 32 terabytes of memory. All of these cores, what they're really trying to design is that the business applications just keep running, and if they need data, they're going to get it fast. Got it. So, um, Let's go on to refresh. Okay. So um, I have been to many customers that have had 
continuous refresh operations in their data center. Um, uh, so they have a team of people that are made up of moving in, moving out uh, these servers, sure. those x86 servers. So what do we do on Z? We can install a brand new Z over a weekend. So I talk about these 10,000 containers and they will experience um, a downtime over a weekend. Once every few years. Once every few years. Um, but wait a minute, I've got a customer that that's not acceptable. I can't have um, a downtime over a weekend. Sure. So I have two Zs. I have live guest relocation, which says that I can move um, my, my servers I have two servers here, and I can move all these servers over to this other live, upgrade the 1Z, mm -hmm. and then move the workload back. The next weekend, I move all of the servers over, upgrade that server, and move it back. So we're talking about in two weekends, I can upgrade uh, with availability all of your servers. Wow. Well, so that's, that's the story. That's the differentiation. That's the whole story um, by why you want to run your servers on Z. There's a lot of great information about Z. Uh, one thing I, I generally do hear is that the expertise, again, these, these server farms, there's a lot of expertise out there. People yes. know how to do that. They may not know how to do Z that well. Right. Is there something Mainline can do to help that? A absolutely. Uh, not only do we have a, a pre-sales team that can help you with planning this, we have a, an account exec, and so we also have um, excellent systems engineers um, that help you on the uh, technical planning. Uh, but in addition to that, we have a systems administration team uh, that can help you on an ongoing uh, production support environment. So if I have a problem in the middle of the night, I need help, I don't know where to go, you do know you call Mainline and we have systems administrators that can help you at any time. That sounds great. Well, certainly there's a lot of reasons and we can help build your business case if you're looking to get out of this business and maybe more into this business. I'm Brian Sampson. And I'm Marianne Eggett. And this has been a Mainline Solution Short.